a changing hole size in, on their part is in the end difficult. We're going to have a slide that says, "Here is our range of fluids, and here is this little narrow strip is where your part works." Yeah, yeah but for what hole? I mean, a 50 well, micron it's, hole is well, totally right, for the different. One, for the one, right, and for every hole, it's like a whole new setup. And so what I'm saying like is, the that, smaller it is, the wider. Right, but for the 150, which is what you're ordering right now, the the, the sweet spot's pretty narrow, and that's Very why we narrow. chase it, and we're trying to come up with tools that are be more specific, which we think we've well, got. Yeah, and this is almost identical to what you did last time. It just took us a while to get back to it, but it is literally almost identical. We've got a slightly smaller spot size um, than what you've had. Except I've got more power out of that same aperture. I mean, I, if you look at the raw aperture at DAC 10, you've got 400 oh, microjoules. That's fine. I'm just talking about the on work surface recipe, right. the number of microjoules, the spot size, the speed, and the recipe right. are all very similar. But we've had to do a lot to get it to be the same. To get it back. I mean, that's the first have. time yeah. I've ever done a, a quad attenuator. That's bizarre. That's, it's totally workable. Also, we by using an alpha coupler, it's not really optimal. If we really make a little money with this job, we should buy some real attenuator plates. Yeah, but as soon as the laser degrades, you won't need any of that. Well, yeah, because we're not going to want it to degrade as bad as we let it go. Yeah. Otherwise, we'll always be chasing it. But it'll go out of alignment. I don't want it. I don't want to base an entire project on an out of alignment part of condition, but if you want to, that can be correct. Thanks.